I'm just having a quick look at my seed haul this year. These are a few of the herbs I've bought, a few of the herb seeds. I so enjoyed being able to go into the garden and pick big salads full of all kinds of herbs last year. It's just so flavorsome. And the flavor I've always really enjoyed is licorice. So this year I've really gotten as many as I can that taste of that. We've got some tarragon, which I always think tastes a bit like that. It's definitely a really strong, wonderful flavor. And we've got some more fennel. Last year I grew some green fennel and some bronze fennel. Really, really pretty. It has these wonderful feathery leaves. And if you let it flower, which I, mine never really did, the actual flowers taste exactly of like licorice sweets. They're sweet and beautiful. So delicious. So I want to grow more this year so I can get it to flower lots. And they are perennial, so the ones I had from last year should come back again. And super excitingly, I have bought these seeds here. This is actual licorice. It grows into a large, big plant. So I must find a good little sunny spot for it. And then when it's completely full grown, you dig it up and the actual roots themselves are licorice. Really, really exciting. When I was little back in Denmark, we'd go into health food stores and they'd have a big jar full of dried licorice root you could, you could buy and then we'd chew on it and it tasted just like a really healthy sweet. So it's super good for you as well. So looking forward to doing that myself. Um, and another herb I'm really looking forward to growing is this one, it's cumin never grown it before but it just sounds so much fun it's fun to be able to grow something like that um and this one i'm really excited about that anise it's it's not like star anise it's actually just anise seed and it's yeah just a really really licoricey flavor i think all of the bits of it all parts of it like the leaves and everything should taste just like anise seed so really fun and then of course just lots of other herbs um one i think is really nice to get is sorrel really a beautiful flavor and I like trying things that are a little bit wild too that golden purslane is one I've not tried before but it's one that's grown over here in England and then this one I'm really excited about too good good King Henry um, as it says it's got dark green leaves and is a good substitute for spinach but then the actual young shoots and flower spikes can be steamed and eaten like poor man's asparagus how amazing is that? I so want to try that. That sounds so exciting. So, yeah, looking forward to that. But um, hopefully I'll be able to show you all these growing soon, well, before too long, in the next half year. Really exciting things in store for 2023.